Eugene, do you secretly think that Ned and his wife are going to get divorced someday? No. Of course he does. He's lying. I, I could have told you that, Zach. To be fair, I'm a child of divorce, so... Am I the only child of divorce in the Try Guys? Yep. We have a special guest what? joining us. Who is it? Who is it? Ah, it's my wife! Tonight, we're getting fancy. Oh, darling, can I take you out to dinner? Say around six. The uh, the potatoes! Oh, well! Do you think we could last 90 years on a spaceship cruise ship? I think we absolutely could. There's no one I would rather spend 90 years with. Stop it. My wife Ariel loves dogs, so in a preparation for having a baby, we decided to get a baby dog. Sometimes. What is this? Baby. No! When did you go get him? I got him earlier today. No way. It's our new dog. <laughs> Are you excited that we get to take him home today? Oh my god, I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to this all week. Ned and his wife are going to get divorced someday. No, of course he does. He's right guys, let me just explain those clips you just had to look at. What you saw there was Ned Fulmer from the Try Guys with his wife Ariel. That video was shot about four years ago prior to them having their first child and you can see how lovey dovey they are. Which was followed by a clip of Eugene from the Try Guys doing a lie detector test. Again, another video from quite a few years ago in which he basically admits under a lie detector test condition that he thinks Ned and Ariel might get a divorce. And this ties in to the rumours swirling about on social media right now. Now this is all alleged, this is all speculation, right? Thing is though, the rumours are getting stronger and there are certain signs that it might kind of be true because of the actions people are taking, but we have to say it's alleged because we have no evidence to back it up. So what's going on? Well, people are saying that Ned Fulmer has allegedly been unfaithful to his wife, Ariel, and there's been some messages and video to apparently corroborate this. But what people got talking about before these rumours came out is that Ned had been surprisingly absent from most of the Try Guys videos. The Try Guys are like four YouTubers who make these videos. They have almost 8 million subscribers on YouTube. They're very well known. You know, it's, it's what they do, it's their careers. And certainly their most recent video where they try stand up comedy, Ned is just not in it. And they don't mention him. Because if you're nervous, right away the audience goes, ah, oh, gosh, that's a green comic. But if you want to look bitchin', you take the mic out of the stand <laughs> and move the mic away. So a thread was started on Reddit. Now this thread has since been deleted, but there are some screenshots we've got from the thread in which a user is messaging someone who is obviously close to Ariel saying that they were in, I think New York City, and they saw Ned with a woman and that they were all over each other. Now the user in question did post some videos in her messages. Can't find the videos, no idea where they are. You can see screen grabs of the videos here, but you know, we, we obviously didn't get a chance to look at those. So apparently, that's him, apparently, and as you can see, the person in question she's messaging talks about how that they ended up speaking to Ariel and talking about this situation. So there's obviously something weird going on here, but it could not be, I mean, yeah. Now who is he allegedly with? Well this is another rumour flying around that it could be, could be, allegedly, one of the people that the Try Guys do their food babies videos with. But that again is a complete rumour, no one knows. People have been saying that, but the thing is, I, I can't say it because I don't want to be sued. Obviously since this news has broken, Ned has limited comments on his social media channels, which of course makes people get even more suspicious. But it could be completely untrue, and he could be limited in comments because he's just like, I can't deal with all this, I'll put out a statement later, we never know. I think what people are really upset about is the fact that you know, all the videos that him and Ariel put out, they look so in love, they look so kind of, you know, dovey dovey, syrupy sweet, blah 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 blah, all that kind of stuff. And people invest in that and they like that and they hate to think that that can be shattered. But, you know, those of you who've lived longer than 20, 25 years will know that, you know, life is bizarre and life runs strange courses and 
things take a weird turn and you never know what's going on between two people, especially in a marriage. However, nevertheless, you know, as a married man and as a Christian, I believe it's very important to stay faithful to your wife. You know, not because it's the easiest thing to do, but because you're blessed if you do that. And there are certain terrible things that tend to happen when you cheat. And those of you who have ever been in a relationship growing up or whatever, when someone you know cheated on you, or whether you had parents who cheated, you'll know that the after effects of that are, are never great. So let's hope none of this is true, and that if it is true, they can patch it up and carry on. We'll see how it goes. That's what's happening at the moment, though, guys. I'm sure this will develop as the day progresses. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.